<laughs> Holy I'm righteous but ruthless mind. That's why when that when that police uh, chief in Los Angeles said that, he was like, I know he probably sound racist, but he was making some sense. He was like, he's like, we 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 offered we come there to help. Well, next they call us. Then we come there to help them. They don't want our help. He said we. I told. He said he said he told them people. He said we we want to remove ourselves from their community, but they keep calling us over there. If they got such a problem with cops, why are we the first somebody they call when they have fucked up situations? Why? These very people you claim you hate is the very people you're calling all day. Some of these black people, I can't stand white people, but they got their hands out asking for stuff from them. The craziest thing to me. I can't stand the government, but they're they getting the goddamn EBTs and shit. You hear me? <laughs> getting the goddamn tanners. And whatever new name they come up with to supplement the name of welfare. They can't trust the government, but they up there with their hands out. I don't like white people, but you're over there asking for shit. I can't stand the cops, but you call them every time you get fucked up in your situation. Man, how bad, bad? I say black people are so fucked up, that bitch crazy. That don't make no kind of sense. That's why I say half the stuff black people do don't make sense to me. And like I said, the more you break down this, the less sense it makes. I don't have a father figure in my life, but your drug dealer is the guy you looked up to. Ain't no man was around. If you a goddamn like your man had many men in the house. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God, it's crazy. <laughs> Ain't no man. My son had a man in his life. You had every guy in the neighborhood in your goddamn house. What you mean? <laughs> oh man. I'm going to let me die. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone for sure. I got to. Because even me saying this, you know black people ain't trying to listen to nothing I got to say. <laughs> they don't even listen to God. Find the way they want to listen to another man. <laughs> Fucked up. <laughs> Holy. It's crazy. Man. And then I tripped out this time when they talking about, when you say the gang guys, right? They kept talking about some free this gang guy who started the gangs, right? You free the guy, free him. This guy like 70 some years old now. They keep talking about some free him, free him, free him. All the youth just got to hear his voice. I think they'll change. They don't even listen to their own goddamn daddy. What make you think they're going to listen to some 70 year old, 70 year old man? They have, they don't know nothing about other than the fact that he formed the gang that they're part of. They own daddy don't have a say so in the house. What the fuck make you think this stranger will have any say so? These stupid, dumb, ignorant ass black individuals, they don't make any sense. That's why I say they should be making up stuff. They hollering free the, free the leaders of these gangs that started this fucking destruction within black communities to where you fucked up the whole black society. Free them just so they can have a speech so they can talk to the youth as if the youth going to pay them any attention. The youth, these fucked up ass gang guys don't even listen to their own goddamn dads. So you best believe if they don't listen to their daddies, they damn sure don't listen to their mamas. Because they mama chasing the game banging at daddy. Who telling her what to do? So when you see these little boys in the street doing shit, I be like, where they damn daddies and mamas at? They there. They just doing the same shit. Doing the same exact shit. Yeah, my daddy was in the gang here. I, you know, that's how I became in the gang. Following behind that goddamn dad. That's why I say it ain't the daddies that's not in the house. It's what type of man you have around these guys. It ain't the fact that they don't have any men. It's the type of men that they have around them. That's what's fucked up about black society. You best believe in the Asian community, if you fuck up in your family, they'll denounce your ass. We don't want to have shit to do with you. You fuck up around with them. They let it be known. I don't give a fuck if you my, you my son or you my daughter. You fuck up within your family. You don't get a goddamn thing to us till you clean it up. We the only people that accept in and everything. 
that we do and don't do. That's why we so fucked up. That's why I say black society will never get any better. Because if it's the will of God, we where we need to be. We're our only purpose. I ain't going to say our. It seems like most black people, when I tell you before, it seems like most black people only purpose is for the survival of everybody else. We were slaves. It helped everybody else prosper. We in these communities. The government going to profit off your rotten ass. Hell, every business that's created. We know your black ass going to spin. And y'all ain't even got the money to spend. But your dumb ass going to rob and steal and sell drugs to get it. So we know it's coming. We know y'all coming with the money. Y'all going to rob each other. Y'all going to steal and you going to kill each other to get it. We know it's coming. Don't even make up half the population, but you spend more than half than everybody. How fucked up crazy is that? That don't make no kind of sense. Nowhere near about mathematics or science. Almost less than 13% of the population spend more than over half of the population. 13% of the population do more crime than over half of the population. Take away the 13% of people, 80% of your problems will cease to exist. That's crazy even say. You mean to tell me, get rid of the 13%, 80% of your problems will no longer exist. You know, if people really thought that way, we'll be in trouble. Population control is a real thing, and we handling it very well. We are the we are the population control of black people. Black people is population control. We guarantee we gonna kill more than we we gonna kill more. We gonna take more lives than we create. And even we even if we create lives, it's gonna be to take another one. We all we always in the negative. Crazy. Take away the 13%, 80% of the world, no, 80% of the entire United States problems will no longer exist. That is a fact. Statistically, if you look at that, 13% of the population almost consists of 80% of the crimes and criminal acts in the United States. So you mean tell me you take away the 30, 13%, 80% of all violent crimes will no longer exist. That is a crazy and scary thing to even think about. How is it that this small amount of people create this much havoc and chaos in an entire continent? On an entire continent. <laughs> Holy I'm righteous but ruthless mind